Hey everyone, do you know if water runs over your sprinter side molding or does it sneak behind it? And if it does, you're gonna have moisture back there which could possibly turn to rust. I was concerned about that, so I bought from Owl Vans a Sprinter Trim Weatherproofing Kit that works from the 2019 to present Vans, Sprinter Vans, and there's a sufficient amount in the kit for the 144 and the 170 wheelbase. Inside the weather stripping kit is a roll of rubber that will fill the gap between the van and the Sprinter side molding. It also includes an installation tool that will help you to install it without damaging the trim. Here's an example of the gap that you're going to be filling. Grab your weather stripping, start with it extended past the gap that you're going to fill, use the tool that's supplied and start to simply press it into the gap. What I found is that you work back and forth a little bit until you feel like it's sufficiently locked into place. Then take a razor blade or a sharp object and go to each end and just simply trim it into place. After installing all the weather stripping, I think you're going to have a great sense of peace of mind. Also, it actually gives the van a much more finished look. So I ask, hey Mercedes, what's up? How come you didn't do this from the beginning? Have a great day, everyone.